there, but can be very powerful when Akali's trying to get to the back line, can lock her down. All right, off we go. The fan cheers are back. Talking about how these are going to collide in the later parts of the game is quite interesting as well. Oh, no. This is terrible for On Fleek and such a good invade for Peanut. He doesn't need to kill On Fleek. He just needs to push him out of the jungle. And speaking of which, he's over the wall. Trying to force a flash, but On Fleek very calmly. Like That's so On Fleek will be. Oh, he's going. Yeah, oh, he's you going know again. he's going. He has three. Yeah. And he can just take the one turret shot. Non Fleek's going to have to call his mid laner over. But Karis, Jovi doing a good job of pushing that in and trading aggressively, meaning that he's. Oh, this is just. Well, it's kind of considered a soft counter for Gwen. We see it a lot. Oh, no. This is not over yet. He was not able to secure <laughs> this one. This is just uh, very mean, but also very smart from Peanuts. Um, the Vi considered very good into the pick, but not early on when Wukong is just jumping over walls and in your face the entire time. The jungle catch experience. Level six here, though. Something to talk about. Dudu is trying to get this going onto Doran, who is just trying to de deny the needles, but he picks up his level six now as Peanut is in the top side, but the damage is huge! And the Ignite is not enough, though, Dudu! It's not for a solo on health here to try to rotate over now would be Fall. He has no mm -hmm. teleport. So... <laughs> I do want to point out one thing. Peanut is going to go for the kill, though, Karis. That is going to be your first death on Fleet, trying to make something happen here as the Senna ultimate even coming in. He's trying to get the kill onto Peanut. He might just be able to one more hit, and a Q comes in, and he will, in fact, pick up the kill here. Jovi not able to pick up the follow-up there as on Fleet just flashes away, and uh, a really good look here from on Fleet. Yeah, re really smart moves from on Fleet. Just knowing his limitations here perfectly. Hit six, comes over. And, you know, Chovy had flash there, but Lehens did not. Peanut just a little bit overextended there to grab that kill onto Karas. And this will allow Honda Life Esports. Well, that was a bit of a passing <laughs> shift of the night. And we got another fight here up on the top side. Needles are being thrown as Dudu trying to get the kill, but just barely out of range is Doran. And on fleek, you can see he's trying to set this up. He doesn't want it to leash, but Peanut is coming in here trying to deny this. Note, both junglers are level six, even though Peanut has almost doubled the CS of his uh, <laughs> his opposing jungler. Something, something, catch up experience, yeah. Funny the way that works. Um, <laughs> yeah, even, even with Peanut picking up the kill first, he did not hit level seven. They are trying to pick this one up. Doran is, oh, it's gonna reset, but they are gonna pick up the kill onto Doran. It leaves a huge sweep though from Toby as they are trying to fight it back. And that will be a couple of kills for Gen G on the follow-up. They even want Karis here and not quite able to pick that one up, but still two kills at least for Gen G. Yeah, two kills going over to them. Ruler has rotated over now to the mid lane, so some of that uh, experience will be picked up from him there and might even have enough time to go back bottom. Good reaction on the heal, as you mentioned, though. Meanwhile, those second bit of the needles did go wide, but Doran is just trying to get some range on him as the last bit of the needles come in. And it does not matter what champ you pick into Gwen, she is going to find value. Certainly true. Man, I love this. Here. They're just trying to fight around the Gwen as everything's going to kind of miss. And now Doran is trying to get in there. That is a easy scoop for Doran. It's now he's the one saying cut. The needles will come out, but he easily gets the range. Yeah, it's just been really beautiful to watch as now we're fighting the engage onto Ruler. The top can't exist, though, as he gets into Peanut. Not sure if that was the option he was going for. They're trying to take down Peanut now, but he has got a lot of range cards. Still on the cheese here, Laser. Will be enough as Lahens engages. Gets a little bit close to the sun. Meanwhile, guys, take a look at the bottom. Doran. Line, as Doran is getting free push and free pressure. At least they do pick up that Rift Herald. So this is Doran's perspective on the missed punch here. He knows Vi is coming, goes to the left side of the turret there. If you stay under the turret, you have less room to work for, work with. It's just out of range, does avoid it. Escape with the items and the champion, as you mentioned, are very annoying to deal with. So. Now, Hama Life actually trying to fight over this one, but three of them going to get ultimated up three times, twice actually, the three of them, as now the set goes in and he is just going to get demolished. Meanwhile, a 1v1 as the Senna is left just to die. 
all alone. Um, that's going to be the end of that. And this team fight is a wipe. Everybody's going to be cleaned up here. Not a single member of Gen G is going to die. A triple kill for Ruler. And that's probably the game here for Gen G. Pretty much because it wasn't even set up like well, right? No. It, the, the fact that Samdi got basically zero value as the uh, Senna, which might happen again, honestly. He's left here all alone, and they're just kind of meandering through the jungle. That's not your jungle, guys. That is three kills for free, and Karis just backs away. Yeah, let's talk about the Senna, actually, because she goes for Glaive first, right? So just kind of in general, at this moment in time in the game, her strengths are not there. She doesn't have that many stacks yet. She has a Glaive against Champion she can't really hit. So in terms of the lethality that she has right now, it's worthless. She can kill wards as... Okay, Doran should be fine here. Yeah, we do have him actually hang around, but now there is a Victor. So he's like, uh-oh, I, I guess I actually do have to run. Did you write down what the second band was for Hana Life Esports? I didn't write that one down. I did. It was uh, Twisted Fate. Oh, that's right. It wasn't Azir. Um, that was a bit of an issue for their prio in the early parts of this game. Or Wukong. I mean... Yeah. They're not going to ban. Well, at that case, they probably would have just first picked the Gwen. Um, so at least they got one of them. So definitely a good point. As now we have the giant safe of money just crashing in onto their heads. This game is over, guys. And we will get into game number two momentarily. Gen G, an incredibly strong performance once again. They were the favorites coming in here, but they absolutely made it look very obvious that they were the favorites in this one. 16 to three, the kills, 23 and a half minute game in this meta, in this LCK. Or one for two trade and kills, but also the Rift Herald, that could have been like, okay. But after that, it just felt like they got this massive early lead to Jin. Okay. This is a kind of picking Sejuani into her most common counter pick here in the LCK. But he's got Peanut to back him up. We've seen a lot of failed uh, Sejuani. Yeah, he's coming over here, is going to ward this Raptor camp. And Karis has Flash. Oh, the Flash? <laughs> Looking for the Flash stun, but Karis. Actually, Ruler and the Hens are doing just fine. Really trying to abuse, you know, the lick of the Tom Kench and use that. He's going to get the knock up here, and the Root comes in on the Vista. I think he's dead. Yep, First Blood will go to Ruler in this matchup as they are just once again going to dominate these two. Somebody say player diff uh, in the player block diff. 2v2. Uh, if if Karis comes over, he gets scooped. He gets oh, scooped no. anyways. Yeah, he's so dead. Uh, and we do see on Fleek here, and actually caught in the stun is Peanut, but it's still going to be enough. And you can see, especially because Ruler is here, that is 100% a kill onto Karis. Uh, wait. No way. He's. I think he actually can kill him here. Gets the stun. Yeah. And ooh, he hey. does get the stun, and he's not going to chase more because as Dudu gets himself into an awkward spot, he is Nar, but over the wall with the Heartbreaker and the Sejuani also will go very wide. It might not matter, though, as the hop is on a long cooldown and no flashes available right now for Dudu with the Ignite. It is ticking. One more flail could do it. One more flail, anything. No, they're not going to have enough to take down Dudu. Uh, also, Karas is back as denied during this, too. Ooh, trying to get the jump here onto Samdi. They will land that stun onto Vista as the damage will be enough. Heartbreaker comes in as Peanut will be devoured and saved. A double kill on the bottom side will open this up for Gen G. Karas did get his back denied. He was denied several times also during this. So, like, the one part of the map you guys didn't see where Gen G was dominating, where was Chobi was preventing him from buying his Mythic. Besides that, like, Genji are happy to have a weak side Sejuani up here while they take literally everything else. And oh, he's weak. not going to miss it this time. And with Ignite, <laughs> he is absolutely going to go down. Doran gets right up close and personal. When you have this uh, early burn damage, you had, he had the early bombies, and then he finished uh, the gauntlet. So he, he could just clear waves, actually, very quickly. Um, and pick up all that money. Abyssal Dive not here, so Dudu is trying to actually punish this as Meganar is coming in. Abyssal Dive is denied. Dudu looking for it. The exhaust might be enough, though, as he flashes away from that one. Ruler trying to get the ultimate off, and he's going to be saved by Devour. They're trying to get this kill on the Dudu, and they finally do. It is traded. 
for the Tom Kent. No as everybody here. now on the side of Hamalai Esports is trying to get into the action. And Karis, can he follow up on this one? Remember, he does not have the flash as the old. sun comes in from Peanut to try to deny it. But it will not be enough. As now teleport coming in from Jovi. They want to make sure they at least punish this very big overextension from the side of Hamo Life. They will take down Karis. It's a slight trade up. You could almost argue for Hamo Life Esports. Well, not anymore. Flash expended. He does get away with his life. Oh, if he's back in there, though. Oh, come on. No way. I mean, is this scripted? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's still going for it, and yeah, he's just got to run out of there. He should be okay. He'll can come in from a roller. Ruler's not even going to queue him. Okay, well, he's fine. Here we go again. Genji not going to let that one go without punishment. As they say, how dare you try to 1v2 us? Uh, in all likelihood, due to just a bit up the lane too far, uh, with actually zero vision in the river as well. So, overextension from him. It's, uh, it's a rough time. They have control of the Baron on spawn, like I said, to look for this. And Jovi has all the tools, stopwatch, flash, ultimate. Yeah, they also have control of the waves here, too. Um, Jovi topside can just push it in. That turret on the top side is also very low. Would make this even easier. Genji could set this up. Cars doing a good job of holding the wave and trying to clear it, but difficult at the same time. They try to get onto Jovi here, but he's just so tanky right now. They do take out Ruler, though, as Tom Kench was not here. Lands is uh, playing very much a side-laning Tom Kench kind of game, and that means that Ruler takes a bit too much. Really nice combo between Samdi and Onfleek. The Cyclone knockup comes up as he uses the True Shot Barrage, does a ton of damage. And Jovi cannot stopwatch, actually decides not to. It's a smart move by him because he needs to use his ult to actually prevent further death. Says, uh-oh. Oh, no. Karis taking a bit too much. The Ignite will not tick down. The shield from the Q is enough. Oh, close. Man, Doran just cannot catch a break this oh, and game. He's, oh, and he's just dead. He dies anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still got the assist, Doran, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure he's got all those bounces. But I mean, you're not walking through this choke point. You shall not pass. It's well, Toby and Gandalf for one. tried, and uh, yeah, we're going to see the result of that here. He is burning down. Uh, one more Q will do it. As Doran, he is so tanky. Will he be taken out, though? The magic damage actually doing enough, as he has not built any just yet. It's been a... The like game one was a really smart jungle game from Peanut. It was really all good, all, all good, all around strong macro play. So, oh no, no, no! Can Dorian yep. kill this time? Karis does not have flash, and they don't know exactly who is on the opposite side. So he avoids. You see the wall there, where Wukong could have come over the wall and punished, potentially, or at least knocked him up, so he doesn't get damage in. And they do secure the kill with the TP from Jovi. This should mean a free Baron, although. They are trying to get onto Lahens, and a follow-up teleport from Dudu means that perhaps they will try to fight this. Ruler, like, in lands 2v4, two, two deny their entry to the Baron Pit. Yeah, I'm not sure about this on Fleek, though. He is going to be pushed out of the pit, and that means it is a free Baron here for the side of Gen G. And now it's just a straight-up 5v4. Dudu's desperately trying to kill the Tom Kent, but he is just trolling around. Lots of low health bars here on the side of Gen G. Dudu hitting Meganar. But at the same time, Onfleet goes down, and Dudu can't just do it all by himself. Yeah, Somdi not in position. He's too low health. Peanut is teleporting. Or that's Peanut. actually, that's not his. Yeah, the Peanut is ridiculously strong right now. Um, he, he's like 6-0 and 4 or something like that. I mean, if he gets one reset yeah. in the fight, it's like, it's just ridiculous. I want to see how much gold he's holding on to right now. As a, OK, Doran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They do have uh, jumps and dashes and stuff like that, so. Jovi is frontlining. Onfleek gets into the back line, but a simple stopwatch will be enough, and Onfleek just goes down. As that is going to be Peanut picking up the kill, and he is just gigantic right now, tanking up the damage from three of these members like it's not a big deal at all, and honestly, Right now, it is not. Zombie just kiting him out for as long as he possibly can. This is a wipe, guys. Question is, who do they give this kill to? It will be Ruler. At the end of the day, they will teleport to mid and end this game in about 30 minutes. Tonight is all about the last Rocks Tiger. Peanut 
pushing down the mid lane with the rest of his squad. Fantastic performance, 7-0-7. Seven, seven. Absolutely destroying on fleek. Arguably, Honda Life Esports the strongest player two games in a row to give Jin G a four and zero start in week one here for summer season. Tip in his hat, Peanut did there. <laughs> We're not gonna watch him go all Top the way. Top of the, the morning to you. <laughs> Honda Life Esports actually did pick up a thousand gold from objective bounties. Thank you very much, guys.